my precious. Today we will be making magical caramel apples. Yes, yes. 534 years I traveled the globe in search of this ingredient and that ingredient from the book of spells for this here caramel, my friend. Will make me young forever! <laughs> Subscribe now or I will put a spell on you and stick around. Welcome, my friend. Let us begin with a bushel of tart green apples. Wash them well and scrub off as much of the waxy residue as you can. Then procure some sticks from the woods or from your local Walmart and stab that here apple. We must have a good grip on these for the caramel. Like so. Now, my friend, you shall procure a vessel and preferably heat it over a hot wood burning fire, but a stovetop will do as well. And we shall add plant based butter and allow it to melt thoroughly. Oh, listen to that. Oh, I think it's too hot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this here technology. Oh, it's a, uh, oh dear me, dear me, oh, do not let it get too hot, my friend, as we don't want to burn our caramel before we even begin, but it is melting quite nicely now, and again, be sure to use plant-based butter, no other variety will work for this recipe, don't even get me started on koala butter, oh, what a disgusting mess. We shall let that melt thoroughly and keep it on a nice low, low heat. Now that our plant-based butter is fully melted and smells delightful, we shall add our granulated sugar to this as well as brown sugar for that nice lovely golden caramel color. Now, I kid you not when I say I travel the world, this here is coconut cream from the coconuts of Thailand. We shall add it to our caramel for a nice richness. But fear not, the coconut flavor is hardly detectable. Now we shall add syrup from the trees of maple. Yes, I traveled all the way to Canada to procure this. Oh, it was cold in the north, but this here will provide a nice glistening shine to our caramel. Now procure a whisk and whisk that thoroughly together. Now we shall add just a little pinch of salt to balance out the flavors and the sweetness. Oh, let's add a, a pinch and a half, why not? Whoa. Look here, my precious. We want to allow our caramel to come to a gentle boil over medium low heat. And once it begins to boil, we shall let it continue to boil for seven minutes. You can track the seven minutes using a sundial or some other timekeeping device of your preference and whisk it occasionally. Double, double, boil and bubble, my sweet caramel. <laughs> Look here, my precious. 
It has been seven minutes that our caramel has been boiling away. Remove it from the source of heat and we shall add a very special flavorful ingredient. My friend, I have traveled all the way to Mexico and procured vanilla from the Aztecs. But any vanilla extract will serve our purposes for today. We shall add two teaspoons of our vanilla. There she goes. Ooh, delightful. Whisk that in. And then allow the caramel to cool slightly for 10 to 15 minutes, if you can wait that long. <laughs> now, my sugar plum, our caramel has cooled for a good 15, perhaps even 20 minutes. Now, give it a little whisk to reincorporate, and then we shall coat our tart green apples like so. Grab it by the stick, tilt the saucepan, and rotate your apple in the caramel. Do not worry about getting the top. We can drizzle on the extra caramel when we have finished coating our other apples. With the excess caramel, spoon it on top of any apples that are lacking in caramel sauce and procure a brush of some sort to even it out a bit. Now, my dearest, our caramel apples are coated in our caramel, but we must not haste. Put them in a cool location such as an icebox or a modern refrigerator and allow them to chill until the caramel is slightly thickened and thick. Come, come, my friend, make haste. We have allowed our caramel apples to chill for 30 minutes. They are nice and ready now for the tasting. One taste and youth shall be forever mine. <laughs> Let us indulge. Mmm. Man, that's so good. Wait a minute. Oh, my voice, my lovely youthful voice. <gasps> oh my gosh, no way. <gasps> it worked, the caramel spell worked. Oh my gosh. Happy Halloween. Hope you had fun today. Be sure to drop a like below if you did and comment what are you gonna be doing for Halloween this year. Subscribe to keep the vampires away, be safe, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Now we shall procure a vessel. <laughs> now I shall take a bite and youth will be mine. <laughs> <laughs> now I shall take a bite and youth will be forever mine. <laughs>